Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how you can configure the Visual Studio code to run the matplotlib library from Python for your C++ program and this library is very useful in order to plot your results and to visualize your data and I have already made the tutorials like how you can install this library and how you can link this library with your C++ main program using the G++ method or the CMake method. But the problem with the G++ method is each time when you need to compile your program, you have to again open the terminal and again uh, you need to give the path for your Python libraries in order to link the Python libraries with your C++ program. So in today's tutorial, uh, we will solve this problem. We will configure the Visual Studio code and we will write each uh, path for the Python library for the C++ program. So uh, and uh, uh, by doing this, we don't need to uh, open the terminal again and again and give the path again and again. We just need to click just on one the play button, run button from the Visual Studio code. So it will do all the linking by itself. So we will see how we can do this. So let's go. Uh, if you want to learn how you can install and use this library in Linux, you can go through my article on the Medium. And uh, here I have actually write everything about this library. Uh, you need some prerequisites for using this library so you need to install these prerequisites and then uh, this is the how you can uh, use this library inside your main program and after this I have already write how you can link this library with your main program using the G++ method here and also using the CMake method yes and the problem actually with the G++ method in order to compile your program each time you need to give the path for your python here for the includes for the python here and then you need to link the python library with your main program uh, this is the problem with the g++ method so you need to type this command again and again in terminal to compile your program again and again so to avoid this activity uh, we are going to configure the visual studio codes environment so we will write all the paths there so in this way you don't need to write these commands again and again you can just simply play click on the play button so it will do everything for you so we will see how we can do this and i have already made the youtube videos for this and uh, uh, you can go through it if you want to learn all of this I will share the link under the description and I have also uh, write and made the tutorial how you can use this library in Windows. So we will see how we can configure our Visual Studio Code environment. For this we need to open our terminal and uh, I need to deactivate my Conda environment and uh, then I need to create a directory. For example I will create matplotlib and uh, inside this directory i will create two more directories source and include and then i will go into my include directory and in the include directory we need one file so you can download this file from here mm, the file is matplotlibcpp.h actually it is the file which contains the python wrapper for c++ for this library and to download this library you can simply copy this command and uh, paste it here so it will download the library in your include folder so here is your library it's already downloaded and the next thing we need is we need to go inside our source folder and we need to create one file which is our main program main.cpp.h and next we will open uh, this uh, project inside our visual studio code and here you can see I have include folder and in include folder I have this file matplotlibcpp.h and this file is actually using the python.h which is the C++ wrapper for the python uh, actually the python wrapper for the C++ and uh, we are going to use the numpy library from this python and uh, in order to link this file with our main program uh, we need to include this matplotlibcpp.h inside our main program and for this uh, I can simply copy some uh, line of codes from my article so you can simply go there and paste it here so I have actually just include this matplotlibcpp.h file from the include folder and I have write some main program and in the main program I have plot something uh, four points uh, and uh, yeah that is it 
and uh, how if I run this file now with the play button so for example with this so it will generate some errors so I will abort so it is not able to find our matplotlibcpp.h file and also other files so for example if I need to build this program using the G++ method from the uh, terminal so you can simply type G++ the name for your file uh, which is in source folder main.cpp and the name of your um, and uh, name of your output file for example I will write it output and uh, the next thing we need to give the paths for the includes for the python so it's in python 3.8 and the next thing we need to give the path for our include folder which contains the matplotlibcpp.h here in this and the next thing we need to link our python libraries with our main program for this you can simply type python 3.8 so you see it will generate a new file with the name of output so if i run this file so uh, it will it will show you the output from the program so this is how you can use the uh, this matplotlib library using the g++ uh, thing and how we can uh, configure this thing inside our uh, visual studio code so we don't need to write this command again and again inside the terminal in order to compile this program so for this you can simply um, go open this vs code and go to the toss.json file and inside this file we need to write the command here for example in args we need to give this minus i and give the path for our include the same thing here user include python 3.8 i am using python 3.8 so if you are using any other python you can give the path for it and uh, don't forget to put uh, commas here and the next thing we need to give again the include path for our matplotlibcpp.h and uh, this is inside our project and inside our include directory and for this we need to give the path for our project which is the workspace folder and the include folder and the next thing we need is why is showing error we forget the comma here yeah and the next thing we need is to link our python library with our main program so you can simply write again minus l python 3.8 that's it so how you can write all the arguments inside your json program now go back to your main program and if i run this program so it will generate no error and it will find all the libraries by itself so you just need to play hit the play button and so it runs in the debug mode so you see it will generate and run generate the plot for you and run this program and do all the linking automatically so for example if i just want to run this so click on run so it will plot the data for you here so this is it for today's tutorial how you can configure your uh, and uh, in the next tutorial uh, we will see how we can do the same thing in the windows so actually in the windows the path are just a bit different but the thing is the same the concept is the same so in this in the next tutorial i will uh, do this for you and so if you are new on my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads i usually make the videos on the topics that are normally not available on google or everywhere so see you next time bye bye